Hello there and welcome to a new very special video. Well, today I'm going to make a comparison um, between playing uh, PlayStation 2 games on the original hardware using an HDMI adapter or converter as opposed to using emulation. For the purpose of emulation, I'm going to use um, the BIOS I extracted from one of my two PS2s, the same one that I used in the hardware test, as well as my um, as the uh, ISOs from the original CD DVDs from my collection. So the game I chose uh, for these uh, tests is Champions of No Wrath, since it's one of the games that I'd like to play on my channel. I'm using RetroArch and more precisely the PSCX2 core. Uh, I already configured it uh, for a uh, um, uh, 2K resolution, 2560 by 1440. And uh, that's four times the native resolution of the PS2. Let's see how it goes with the first test. Uh, loading is going to be very fast uh, because I'm using, uh, I'm not using an optical drive. That's one of the advantage of emulation. There we are. We are already in here. Okay. So I'm capturing uh, in, um, as I said, um, widescreen uh, QHD, um, 2560 by 1440. Then I'll um, convert it to full HD in while editing with me and with my editing software for comparison with the hardware um, footage. Okay, okay no horizontal lines as you can see no vertical lines there are a few uh artifacts okay in some textures and um some lines are a little bit more pixelated okay this maybe you can see there are some lines okay Let's go with it. Okay, the the text, the writing, the text isn't as clear as the hardware, unfortunately. Um, probably it's it's a matter of tinkering with the settings. Okay, but yeah, um, you'll see later uh, using the the actual hardware, the text are crystal clear and uh, uh, perfectly readable. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's a vertical line over there. There's some vertical lines when the uh, textures should. Um, and here it is. This is the um, starting screen. Probably the music isn't loud enough for you to, to hear. But you can already see on the left side the textures. That, that's in the English engine. And you can see how crisp the image is okay so let's see options probably i'll turn blood on just because you see there there's some there's some lines okay every here and there okay like that one i don't know if you can see it and uh, okay i'm going to start the game So just to show some uh, some action and then I'll show you the original hardware and you can make comparisons and let me know what you think of them. Champions of Norath, thank you for answering my call in what may be our darkest hour. The unthinkable has happened. Orcs and goblins, once mortal enemies, mm -hmm. have okay. become allies. So you get a picture. 
Okay, I'm going to skip now. Even as we speak. The loading is quite fast, a lot of faster of the original. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pick my favorite, which is the female high cleric, uh, high elf cleric. Uh, the character I used in my first and only playthrough of this game. Uh, I'll give you a moment to check the quality of the image, how sharp the textures and the models are. And then we can see. Uh, the text, as I said, is a, is a, it's not as readable, it's a lot pixelated. It's not too bad on my end, but it might be on your end. Let me know. And by tradition, she's going to be called Dawn. There it is. Now the king, the love king, help chieftain resumes his speech. Ah, a welcome sight indeed. My heart rejoices. If not okay, so let's get on with some gameplay, right? Okay, here we are. So, uh, I really like it. Okay, the graphics are a lot better. Uh, shame about the text, but... Um, when moving, the text is a little bit blurry. Uh, to be fair, this is how I remember playing the game on a CRT screen. Um, actually, I think it's a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if tinkering with uh, anti-aliasing and stuff like that can make it better. Uh, it's worth a try. But right now, I'm pretty impressed with the with the with the how it yes. turned up. There's a, no, keep in mind that... a lot of strain uh, on the hardware, and um, we can make it better though. Okay, I want to show you some combat action so that you can see. Anyway, the fans of, of the laptop are going, but are not insane. So I think temperatures are uh, kept under control. Uh, there are some graphical glitches here and there, but nothing to nothing to worry about right now. And here's some combat. Okay. Can be a little blurry, but as I mentioned. Oh. And I go down. Okay, well. Okay, I think that's enough of a test. So I'll uh, hop back to. Uh, I'll hope on the real hardware and. Uh, show you how that manages so i'll see you in a second so here we are with the actual hardware recording i'm doing this as a voiceover because i didn't record um the my my commentary my voice before um i'm cutting things here and there because otherwise the video will be too long anyway as you can see there are no lines no Mm, artifacts no glitches I think it's smooth and clean okay there's these uh, black frame uh, on the to the sides and the bottom uh, of the image that can be fixed with OBS but this is how OBS captures the uh, the input so uh, I don't think that's an issue anyway as you can see, the Ubisoft um, uh, badge, uh, SOE, SOE badges are crisp and clear as this screen, okay, uh, no lines, no the, the, the text, as you can see, it's very readable, it's very clear, that's a, an advantage I found in the, using the actual hardware um, compared to the, to the emulation. 
okay now um, as I said I are cutting here and there the, the, the loading screen so okay another thing um, there are different setups this four thirds di different setups and the, and the uh, BIOS options and uh, this is the first one that's the the 16th white screen i think it's a little bit stretched i don't think it outputs correctly and the one that i'm using in this in this uh test which is full stretched full as you can see the, the text is fine but the except is a little bit stretched i think but again it's i don't know where the issues lie um so we're back i think this is uh as it should be this is the, the it's i'm very pleased with the with the text and and all now you can see the cutscene champions of norath thank you for answering my call in what may be our darkest hour the unthinkable has happened orcs and goblins once mortal enemies have now become allies and attacked our beloved home in Fadewar. Even as we speak, they move through Fadewar. Okay, forest. now I'll skip it. Um, yeah, it's very good. Okay, it's better than using the native resolution on the emulator. I will see later. Idea. I'm picking again the High of Cleric. And yeah, I'm. I think the it's the visuals are pretty good. Okay, the upscaling does does its job. Uh, so um, it's actually better than I thought, than initially thought. Okay. Ah, a welcome sight indeed. My heart rejoices. It's probably not if as good else, as the upscaled four times Warning. version that you can get with the emulator, uh, but. Oh, well, it's fine. Okay, as you can see, the overlay is I will carry out the will of is clear. Okay, it's mm, I think it's playable. It's watchable. Let me know if you, if you think it's watchable. And blurriness. There's a bit of blurriness, sure. Um, but there's no ghosting. When I remember when I used to play this on my CRT screen. I could see some ghosting, uh, especially in the, in the Baldur's Gate uh, games, uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Lord, Alliance. The Fae Dark Lift is off limits by order of As the see, the, the, the text is the perfect. Okay, it's this this um, rendition of the game using actual hardware uh, probably features the best uh, text possible. And the definition, mm, I think the three times upscaled version that you can get on the on the emulation, or even better, the four time upscaled version, it's a, it's better. But this is certainly better than the, the just the native resolution, the plain hardware. So. Um, yeah, uh, I thought well, it, it certainly look worse on my screen than it appears now. And uh, there are no glitches, there are no blurring, no goblins disappearing, stuff like that. So that's probably natural. I have to get, keep that in consideration. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. So I think that's all for this for this test. And uh, now I'll probably stop very soon. And uh, yeah, well, I tried to kill this one. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's enough for the real hardware test, the upscaled converter, HDMI converter adapter. And I'll see you soon with uh, with another test. All right, and here we are with yet another test. So I changed the resolution to the native PS2 one, and I um, reset all the hacks 
So just the only embellishments we have now, let me check, should be just um, uh, anti anti aliasing and anisotropic filtering. Okay, so this is out of the box, and obviously my my computer can um, handle handle it a lot better. That's for sure. Uh, but let's see how the actual gameplay looks in this situation. This is not a straight comparison with the real hardware because I was playing with a scaled up to full HD and we'll see that in a second. Champions of Norath, thank you for answering my call in what may be our darkest hour. The unthinkable has Okay, as you can see it's goblins, it's quite blurry, but for the have now become allies, wrong reasons, I suppose. Home and and uh, yep. Even as we speak, they move through Fader. Let's go on, let's pick a character, swing her maze a few times to see what's what. Okay, and we already know. Text is, I think, is a little bit clearer. It's not as clear as um, the real hardware, though. Okay, let's keep, skip this one. So if you don't scale up the um, scale up the resolution, um, you shouldn't have any artifacts, vertical or horizontal lines. Uh, the overlays should be uh, yeah, clear, and the text should be quite clean. As you can see, it's very pixelated. Okay. Uh, my my laptop is coping with it wonderfully. Um, there are some periods, some a few like thirty seconds that where the fans are not spinning at all. So I hear that the text is wonderful. I can read it very very easily. However, the the, the textures, the models aren't as sharp. Okay, and does as uh, still, there's a degree of blurriness, which might depends on the filters I'm, I'm using. So uh, we can get rid of that, no problem. Still, I don't think it's a satisfaction. It's a satisfactory way to play it. Okay. So if I remember correctly, I should have, yes. Uh, clerics in this game don't have access to any ranged weapon. They have spells, though. That's why I like them so much. Okay, oh, a sharp mace. Loot. Okay, that's... Okay, anyway, this is it. Uh, it's... I know there's a way to use. Uh, probably I don't have any. That's the reason why. Okay. But yeah. So this is uh, another test. This, uh, as I said, the native resolution. Uh, we're going to do one last test um, with the. Just like this, but the resolution scaled up to full HD for better comparison with the um, where is it? What is it? Okay, that was the the healing portion. Anyway, okay, I'll see you in a moment with the final test.
All right, here it is. Uh, same as before, with no hex, just scaled up to full HD. As you can see, there's a vertical line line on the right, just like just past the Champions of Norath title. And uh, again, we're going to start the game. Okay, let's start. I hope you don't mind if I talk as the king is talking as well. Yeah, as you can see, there's a, a huge difference compared to the original resolution. And um, but I don't think it looks it looks better here than the upscale version on uh, on the real hardware, but. I'll leave the judgment to you. Okay, now characters are very sharp. Okay, there are some lines in the overlay. As you can see, again, we go to our cleric. And there you go. Okay, I think I think personally, I think it looks better than the hardware uh, solution. However, there are some artifacts here and there, like only very um, far right of the screen, but that can be fixed in changing some settings in the hex. It's just that the the screen is not perfectly centered. Okay. However, it looks very, very good. Uh, the more you upscale, the higher the upscale, the software scale is uh, in the emulator, the more graphical artifacts may appear. So uh, when you get to uh, 2K resolution, just before you had to uh, do some, uh, change some settings in order to make all the artifacts disappear like lines and so on. this is a i think this is a good very good um um what's what's the word um compromise okay the text is readable it's not bad okay uh there's not go there's not a lot of ghosting not too much but we'll see about that when we fight when we actually fight that's where the goblins had were very very blurry before okay and now we'll see okay if we stand still it's okay okay if we move a lot that's where things might be. As you can see, the our main character, since she's right in the middle of the screen and she doesn't move from there, she's always on focus, okay? And she looks very good. She's always perfect, actually. All the other moving uh, characters are... That's mm, affected by a little bit of ghosting, I guess. Okay. Okay, so this should be enough to give you a rough idea. And um, yeah, let's wander off and uh, think about what we saw. All right, so we've seen the real hardware, the actual hardware, upscale to uh, full HD, 1080, and um, we, well, the glory of the original PS2 graphics. And then we have three different uh, solutions when it comes to the emulation. Well, I showed you the emulation with just some filters 
and uh, the native PS2 resolution, uh, which is 360 by 240, if I remember well. And um, then I showed you the um, full HD upscale version, so uh, three times the native resolution, 1080, which is uh, just like the real hardware was uh, upscaled. And, uh, and then we have the uh, 2K, the 1440 um, resolution, um, which is four times the native resolution. But in order to cope with that, I had to uh, use some, turn on some settings, some hex on the emulator side to make some of the visual glitches visual artifacts to, to disappear otherwise it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's full of uh, vertical and horizontal lines and um, the overlay is quite unreadable and um, yeah talk about readable the text the text is extremely sharp in the uh, hardware using real original hardware and the emulation is good until you get probably to four times the native resolution, uh, probably due to the other filters and stuff that I have to use, it's, uh, it loses a lot of its sharpness. So that's it. I'd like to know what you think of this comparison. What do you think it looks the, bet the best and what would be better for you to watch it? And yeah, I'll patiently waiting i'll patiently wait for your for your feedback and uh, which you can leave here in the comment section or uh, in my discord which is linked uh, in the in the description box as usual thanks for watching and i hope to see you again soon until next time take care and goodbye